Wow, Aries. <laughs> Your energy is so exciting. So I've been pulling out two cards from Kim Cran's alchemy deck to see what two forces are coming together right now for you in the universe to manifest something into your life. And the two cards that I got are just stunningly beautiful, but also super deep and a little bit difficult as well. So before I pulled out these cards, I channeled this message and I rarely channel through, you know, automatic writing. A lot of people do that, you know, they just don't think and they just automatically write and it's coming from spirit. It's a channeled message. I don't really do that. I normally just get the message and then I write it down as a way to just keep track of it. But an automatic writing session happened very short, but this message came through. So maybe you're doing automatic writing or you should try it out and see what happens. The message that came through, um, what I got was he who walks the lonely path sees all gateways and doors as they truly are portals into the self and a world beyond shallow disguises. That's pretty freaking cool, Aries. So maybe you've been on a little bit of a lonely path, okay? Maybe you've been alone in some sense, even if you're around a bunch of people, you've been feeling alone. But Spirit is clearly saying here that you are seeing things stripped down to what they really are. There's no matrix grid clouding your vision, okay? There's no disguises that people can trick you with. And what you're seeing is all the opportunities that are both maybe challenging and also rewarding. You're seeing these opportunities as portals into yourself. Okay, so this is like a higher consciousness where you know that, hey, if I choose that doorway, if I go through that gateway and I'm successful in this, that, and the other, that this is going to teach me something deeper about myself. And if I go this way into that gateway, into that door, and it's really challenging and hard and maybe a little bit depressing, I'm still going to learn a lot more about myself. So this is beautiful because the decisions and choices that you're making or the way that you're making the decision is for your highest good. And some of you might be de making decisions that actually feel quite difficult. And you might be asking, why am I doing this to myself? Or I know that's not really a good idea, but I feel like guided to go this way. And it's because you see the portal of that opportunity, that experience as a way to really tap into deeper levels of psychic awareness within your soul. So this is like beyond I don't know, this is on another level, okay, that you're working on, that you're thinking on, where your soul's at these days. You know, you're doing some serious heavy lifting spiritual stuff. So while you're doing day-to-day -day stuff, mundane things are going on with your relationships and your job and etc. on another level, you're really tapped in, tuned in, and you're dedicated and committed to moving beyond seeing things as a zero sum game, as seeing things as roadblocks and obstacles, you're open to transformation. So the two cards that came in for you as these two forces coming together are darkening and benevolent guide. Together, these cards are so beautiful. Now, darkening looks like a scary card, but it's not at all. This is an alchemical process. It's the initiatory stage of the alchem alchemical process in which you decide to break down all the things in your life that really aren't working or they've already been broken down. You know, you've transformed by fire. Okay, things kind of went up in a blaze. You realize this is not for me. That's not for me. I've been doing this in the wrong way. And now you're at a stage where you're ready to really close your eyes and go within. Hence the word darkening. It's 
you know, it's metaphorical for when you shut your eyes and you let the world go dark around you and you really go within. So maybe you want to shut your eyes a little bit more and feel that darkening energy come into you because this is the transformative energy. This is like, I'm ready. I'm ready for change. I'm ready to achieve what I've been holding myself back from all along. Okay, and you have something, you've been holding yourself back from something and you know it. Okay, maybe you don't know exactly what it is. Some of you do. Others of you just feel like, what gives here? What's wrong? What's going on with me? And there's something that you haven't allowed yourself to do. Maybe because the matrix world told you it's not for you or you can't have this or you're not good enough. And like that's all dissipating that's no longer a concern for you. Now coming in with the benevolent guide, this is <laughs> this is a guided journey. This is for your highest good. Your guides are with you and you cannot make a wrong choice here. Whatever gateway, portal, door you move through is right. So please let that bring you some solace and peace, Aries, that you cannot make the wrong choice. Now, your guides want you to know that although you've been walking on maybe a little bit of a lonely path, you're not alone. And I had this message come through earlier today. I saw a doe in my backyard space and it was walking and I heard as I was looking at it, you're not alone. And so maybe deer or doe are significant animals for you. We also have the bee. But you really aren't alone, Aries. You're with yourself, first and foremost. But you're with the universe. And you do have a very special guide or guides supporting you in a big way. Okay? I'm seeing like somebody's hand on somebody's uh, shoulder here. It's like your guides are, they have their hand on your shoulder. Maybe if you just close your eyes, you can feel it right now. I'm so excited for this reading. This is like big, beautiful news for you, Aries. So let's get in and see what comes out. He who walks the lonely path sees all gateways and doors as they truly are, portals into the self and a world beyond shallow disguises. Amazing. Okay, so let me get my little spread out that I made for this reading. If you're new here, welcome. <laughs> my name is Andy. This is 13 Moon Tarot. I do things a little bit different here. I'm an intuitive reader. I read the energy and I use the cards to help me translate what I'm feeling or what's coming into my mind's eye or what I'm sensing in my body. So the cards here are a tool for me. Okay, let's see. For Aries spirit guides, what message do we have for our beautiful Aries? We need five cards. Just as a side note before I pull out your cards, shuffling cards is alchemy. You're combining, you're mixing all the archetypes and the symbols and the energies that these cards represent. So when you shuffle a deck, know that it's magic in the making. That's why sometimes the cards need to be shuffled a little bit longer. Other times they pop right out. Things need the time and energy that they need. Nothing more, nothing less. Are you ready? Yes. Aries, I see you doing something your way. Okay, also experimenting, I'm hearing. You're experimenting with the way you're doing things, but it is still your way. This card wanted to stay behind. Queen of Pentacles. Yes, you're doing things your way. No doubt about it, because it's working for you. there's some level of comfort and success that you're stepping into. 
yeah, the spirit's saying that you've done some kind of heavy lifting. Okay, so spirit also doesn't want to talk to you about what happened in the past. Like we're beyond that. Who had that message? We're beyond that. I think it was Pisces where it was you're beyond this, but you're beyond something. And whatever happened back here that created this transformation that was the catalyst for you, spirit wants to shift your attention somewhere else now into the present moment. So let's see. Why is this all happening to you? Let's, oh my God, let's pull out all the cards. Oh. <laughs> Whoa, Aries. Okay, why is this all happening for you? 10 of pentacles with the queen of pentacles. Because you're coming into a deeper level of awareness of who you really are. And that the Ten of Pentacles card isn't just financial abundance and success and longevity and a happy family and all this. I mean, it can be all those things. But on an esoteric level, on a spiritual level, on an alchemical level, the Ten of Pentacles represents ascension up the tree of life. So when you receive the Ten of Pentacles... You have ascended. You have gone through many, many lessons. And you're clearing old karma so that you can feel this weightlessness within you as you move through your life lessons. Interesting. So nothing's weighing you down right now. You're also really ready to take on the world and life's mysteries. So why is this happening? Why are things darkening, transforming? You know, everything's kind of like, I'm seeing, um, where is it coming from, that image? I think it's that, uh, I don't know who covered it, but there was a recent singer who co covered um, Papa Roach's song, Cut My Life Into Pieces, and they covered it, and it was like really uh, melodic and uh, like opera like I mean it was it was really good let me just look that up because I feel like you should definitely Lisa, Lisa I was hearing listen to this one second Aries now the song's pretty heavy but this is significant um, what do I do Max or cover? It's a cover. Falling in reverse. Oh, cool. Falling in reverse. Yeah, I'm seeing uh, that. Hold on. This is important. I wouldn't spend this much time if it wasn't. Let's see if I can get an image up here for you. Yeah, this is what I'm seeing. This is exactly what I'm seeing in my mind's eye. It's like the building just like exploding here. You should definitely watch that <laughs> that music video, Falling in Reverse, Last Resort. It's pretty moving and touching. And I am seeing this like everything just kind of like falls away from you, explodes. That's what the darkening feels like. It's also like your heart just opens and you just let like everything that you've been keeping inside because it was difficult or hard, you just like let it open. Yeah, some of the lyrics that I'm seeing right here, I'm losing my sight, losing my mind, wish somebody would tell me I'm fine, losing my sight, losing my mind, nothing's all right. You know, and I feel like that's the place maybe where you were or you're kind of in now, but you need to know that this is part of the magic and you're guided through this. And what I'm seeing on the table is like, whoa, <laughs> so good for you. Okay, so let's keep going. So why is it all happening? Because you're ascending up the tree of life, okay? You're heading towards financial abundance and longevity because you believe in yourself, because you're doing something your way, the way in which your soul feels guided to do. You're not feeling pressured by the matrix. You're letting old structures and thought forms fall away from you. Mm -hmm. Falling in reverse. Interesting. So what impact is all this going to have on you, Aries? The two of cups. 
this is going to do a number of things for you. Many things that I can't even begin to spend time talking to you about because there's so much. But two things I want to say. The first thing this is going to do for you is bring you closer to yourself. To reunite with an aspect of yourself that maybe you felt was a little bit lost or, you know, you just kind of, I, I miss being that, that person I was back there. I miss that side of me. It's something you missed about yourself you're reuniting with. Maybe it's your creative aspect here. There's something where you, you just were in the flow state at some point and that's coming back to you in, in a bigger and better way. You're reconnecting with that part of you. Second thing is that you are coming into union with something external to yourself. This could be a person, a job, a friend, whatever it is, you see eye to eye with this person or the energies match. You're on the same frequency with this job. It's gonna be different for each of you, but it is a beautiful union. And so you're gonna know when you have all these gateways and portals and doors available to you, open to you, you're going to know which one to walk through to get this. Now, some of you might choose not to pursue this. And again, you can't make the wrong decision here. That's just a different path you're choosing. But Spirit's showing me that many of you are going to choose the doorway, the portal to union, to finding resonance in this lifetime with someone else or something else. Also, there was a message coming in about dusk being a really, the darkening, right? Being a really important time. And I'm seeing that here, the sunset. Maybe you want to go watch a sunset. Get, you know, empowered by that fiery sun energy. Know that the sun guides you even when it goes down, okay? Because it's not really going down. The sun doesn't really go anywhere. We just kind of move away. We, we rotate away from it momentarily, but we always come back, all right? So what challenges will arise as a result of all this? We have the Six of Wands. Okay, so this is a little bit of ego maybe, <laughs> Aries, which I could see that could be something to watch out for. Because if everything is unlocking for you and now you have this vista of spiritual information and know-how, you, you could, you know, start to really puff your chest out and think that you know everything, okay, when nobody knows everything. So just for some of you, not all of you, you might want to watch out for, you know, being a little bit arrogant or bragging about your achievements, your resources, what you've gained. And sometimes the bragging that we do just comes out as general excitement for ourselves. Like we're so proud of ourselves for making it somewhere that when we express that to someone else, we're coming from a good place. But the way it comes out or how the other person receives it is like, oh, this person's full of themselves. So remember, there's a good time to speak and share. And there's a good time to listen and hear what someone else is saying. So there's going to, um, th this feels like something related to work, family, or friends, but there's going to be an instance where you want to tell someone what's going on with your life, all the good things and the success. And you either have to be super conscious of your delivery or maybe just let the, the other person express some of the things that they want to talk about with the difficulties in their life and save your excitement for a more appropriate time, okay? It's not to repress it or anything like that, but this is to extend compassion towards someone who's not at the level that you're at, okay? And remember that sometimes when we want to celebrate our success with others, it's because we've been wounded and told that we were never gonna be successful. So maybe some shadow work around that part of yourself, but I think it's just being more aware Okay, so how can you thrive with all of this energy? We have the two of pentacles. Well, it's very important to keep one foot in the mundane, even though you're kind of moving through these spiritual realms here. 
meaning that it's really important to stay grounded. So don't lose sight of the day-to-day, -day, your responsibilities, taking care of your body and yourself, making sure you get enough sleep. Don't overwork yourself, okay? Success could be coming in and you feel like you gotta keep pushing and pushing and pushing, but then eventually you're just gonna burn yourself out. And you don't wanna do that because you've already gone through the fire, right? So we don't need that second burnout to happen. Hold on. There's something else trying to come through here. Yeah, with the worker bee here that I'm seeing, it's like let your guides do some of the the work. You've been doing a lot of heavy lifting. Let your guides do some of the heavy lifting now, okay? Give it over. <laughs> you know, really. And that can be very hard, but it all comes down to a matter of faith and trust in spirit. So you do your part and then let spirit take things where it needs to go or not okay but you can thrive by taking care of yourself and staying grounded and knowing that you're in this for the long haul and there's some kind of connection that's coming up and it's long term and it suits you just fine it's literally your suit <laughs> okay well i know you're not pentacles but you are in this reading so what does spirit want you to know about yourself we have the two of swords sorry if you hear patrick <laughs> he's loud okay two of swords for what spirit wants you to know about yourself that you've thought very carefully about your next steps Okay, you have really tried to resolve something. Maybe you feel like you weren't successful, but you have been. Okay, you haven't really been able to see the fruits of your labor necessarily, but they're coming in. You um There's on the outside it's like nobody would know what's really going on when you're in those moments where you feel alone and you're walking down that lonely road, that lonely path. Other people don't see this about you, but of course spirit has seen it. And there's something that was very hard about, about this time or about that space for you. It felt like Well, I feel like there was some self-questioning going on and a little bit of self-doubt. But Spirit wants you to know that you cannot make a wrong decision. You can't. Now, what's really interesting about the Two of Swords card for me is it does signify making a decision. And we have these two swords so we really get this feeling that the decision is between this or that. But what we don't see pictured here is really that there's a third option. It doesn't have to be this or that. It can be both and the third option. So I feel like Spirit is saying, you're walking down this path, seeing all these doors open for you. And you're also able to create your own doorway. The future is in your hands more than you think. Because spirit is holding your hand. Ah, interesting. So this, the future is in your hands right here, your future. You're holding one possibility with this two of swords. And then you're holding spirit's hand. And they're on the other side with their hand out. Kind of like the justice card. Also holding your potentials and your possibilities in your future. So some balance you're finding here between spirituality and the mundane world. This is such a beautiful reading, Aries. I hope that this made sense to you. I know it was a little bit out there. 
but it is what came through for you. So we're going to pull another Oracle card and see what's going to manifest out of all this. What energy is coming forward for you in your life? And then I'm going to go into an extended reading. You can find a link for that in the description box below. In the extended, I go a layer deeper into this message. But if you're not interested in that or you can't go to that for whatever reason, then trust that you received all the information that you needed right here. So no pressure. Don't feel like you're missing out if that's something that you're not guided to do. Okay, what is manifesting? What is the third thing, the third path that is being created? I don't know, let's just get one. Thank you. Quicksilver. Oh, I think Pisces got this too. Maybe you have Pisces in your chart. This is an extremely important component of alchemy. This is liquid metal. This is also about the way you communicate and the way you think is beginning to change. Okay, and when you change the way you think, you change your entire life. Let me see, where are we here? Quicksilver, slippery, mobile, mercury. Part liquid and part metal, quicksilver, also known as mercury, is a mesmerizing material. Its gift is to slip between worlds. Yeah, it's like you're, mon you're in the mundane world and you're in the spiritual world. It's cool. It cannot be pinned down or easily defined. Mercury came to symbolize the god Hermes and the great hermetic secrets of alchemy, always sliding away into secrecy just beyond the alchemist's grasp. It is said Mercury represents the transition between the physical and the unseen worlds, between life and death, between science and the esoteric. It is the metal of sacred thresholds. Shamanic practitioners of every tradition must acquire the ability to stand at the doorway between worlds. <laughs> this is no small feat. The Mercury card indicates that you have a particular gift for such a task. This is the work of the shaman, teacher, sage, artist, and alchemist. Heed the call for Quicksilver. The sacred threshold requires your attendance. Ooh, Aries, congratulations. I love you guys so much. I'll see you next time.